hurry, but that was his message. And then he ran out before I could stop him. Well, maybe he did the right thing. Oh, no, I don't think so. Uh, in fact, I think you should follow him and find him so that it doesn't get any worse. No, I think that'd be the wrong move right now. Hillary, I saw Derek leave a little while ago. He looked kind of upset about it. Yeah, I know. I'm going to say goodnight. Uh, thanks again. Hey, what's the matter? No, it's nothing. I'm fine. Why don't you just let them work well, because it Because I'm not going to let her little... leave here like that. Hillary, uh... What's the matter? I'm what's sorry, I don't want to upset anybody else. Look, you didn't upset anybody, but I, I couldn't let you leave like that. Look, if you don't want to talk about it, that's okay, but can I drive you home at least? Oh, it's all right. You don't have to do that. Derek was every inch of gentleman. He left me some money for a taxi with Vanessa. God, I hate seeing you upset like this. I... Listen, I want to help you. You hear me? You got to let me, okay? It's, it's important to me. Please? Hi. It was so busy in the hideout tonight, I had to miss most of Bertie Higgins' songs, but I did catch a few of them at the door. Is something wrong? I don't want to talk about it, okay? Okay. Um, I'm going to go meet Bertie. Your eyes look into mine. Melt my soul away. The gentleness that is you. Hello, this is Vanessa Chamberlain. The times we <laughs> Yes, I know that Mr. Reardon reported here for work at 8 o'clock, but that is not the kind of information that I'm paying you to get. Now, look, you may be leaving here earlier than scheduled tonight, and I, I want your man on his toes because I want a detailed report of where he goes and what he does and how long he stays. All right? Uh, uh, Vanessa, excuse me, I don't want to interrupt your phone call, but uh, do you mind if I cut out a little bit early? Hillary's really upset, and I don't want her to leave alone. Oh, well, Tony, I think you should tell Derek and let him take no, care. No, I don't want to. I don't want to get involved in all that. Uh, is it okay if I just leave now? Well, I really don't know. I mean, Bertie Higgins stopped by to have a drink, especially with us now, and you're yeah, the well, manager I, you of the know, place. And I... Josh can take care of that. I mean, he'd be happy playing Big Shot all by himself, That's anyway, right? <laughs> What about what would make me happy? Or don't you consider that? Yes, I consider that, Vanessa, but uh, come on, I don't ask that many favors of you, and it's really important to be able to leave now, okay? All right. But when you uh, get Hillary back to Derek's, why don't you come back and join the party? Or if you like, I can join you at your place later. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm really kind of beat tonight. Uh, how about if we uh, take a rain check, okay? I'll see you. Sorry, look, uh, Mr. Reardon is just leaving now with a young woman, so I hope your man is on his toes. Mm -hmm. I want to report as soon as Mr. Reardon gets back to his place, and I want you to call me yourself after your man reports in, no matter how late it is. You got that? Uh-huh. Good. Goodbye. Mr. Higgins, I just wanted to tell you how wonderful I thought your music was tonight. Thank you, Mr. Thank you very much. I was just uh, telling Josh and Brian here what a terrific setup you had. Great. Thank you. We're very, very proud of it. So where's uh, Tony? Oh, dear. Uh, Tony had an emergency, and he wanted me to tell you that he's very, very sorry, and he's also very grateful that you could stop by and be with us. I truly enjoyed it. In fact, I'll come by anytime. And uh, it looks like to me you've got a hell of a career going. In fact, earlier I was up in the dressing room and uh, going over a few songs, and I found one I truly enjoy and would love to record. I'd like to get to it before the sour grapes can do it or anybody else. Oh, great. great. That's really exciting. That is really exciting. It's not going to be long now before I'll be able to give up working for HB and Billy and just manage Floyd's career here. Yeah. <laughs> Don't let Amanda hear you talking like that. I think Amanda's going to be a little too preoccupied to hear much of anything for a while. What does that mean? Well, I just talked to Morgan a little earlier, and she tells me that Jennifer and Mark have returned from Paris as man and wife. Oh, 